Y'all see the shirt, y'all read the title, you know what time it is. We're finally getting to the 17 portion of my catch up. There's a lot of groups and all this I need to catch up with. And I've, I think I'm relatively caught up with Stray Kids, Mongmu, and BTS, so I can go into other groups that I really enjoy because those are my alts, but there are other groups I really, really like. And Seventeen is one of them, they're a top five for me, really like them as a group and there's a lot of music I need to get to and there's quite a bit I want to get to tonight. So yeah, we're in the Seventeen shirt, we're going to be in the Seventeen shirt for a, for a minute doing these videos and I want to do them in pods so at least when it comes to editing it's not as overwhelming. The filming, yeah, I have a lot to get to. If I have a psychological breakdown during the saga. It is what it is, honestly, but now I have almost, I think a year's worth even. I think it's actually now, if not a year's worth, almost a year's worth of 17 to get through. So have have fun, strap in, get a snack and some water. It's going to be a ride, but I'm going to start with, I'm going to do the, I didn't know how I wanted to structure this because at first I was like, oh, should I just do group music first and then go to individual members? But I like doing things in chronological order, so I decided I'm just going to start with what is like the newest newest the oldest music i haven't heard and then work from there and if i'm right it's band boy by bands boy by vernon so we're gonna start there <laughs> and i think this video is vernon solo dk and woozy if i'm remembering correctly and then there's also Bing house music tino had a danceology video that i want to react to and then we'll go from there but we're gonna start with bands boy by vernon has vernon ever released solo music i'm not like a, a, a hardcore carrot so maybe i'm misremembering but i don't think so i don't at least i don't remember any solo music from vernon so i'm very intrigued to hear what this is going to sound like <sighs> man's has been a menace he's really been wrecking havoc on my bias list in more recent years so kind of nervous for this one but yeah <laughs> let's get into it three two one okay kind of trappy ish all right okay we're in the trap sound let's go oh never mind i thought i misheard that lyric all right okay cool now i'm prepared we're in the trap bag cool i like this already let's go No, that's not, no, they haven't. <laughs> but they celebrated seven years this year, yeah, 2015. And if you count their trainee period, maybe it is, damn, that's kind of wild to think about, especially with like how young some of them are. Well, we Okay, main vocalist Vernon, let's go. Oh, so I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about autotune. Not gonna lie, I like autotune. I'm a big fan of it a lot of the time. It's actually rare for me to dislike it more than it is for me to like it, and I like the way he's used it in his in the song and on his voice. Okay. Oh, this is a little on very upset. Bitcoin, Ethereum, reach for the stars, aim for the moon. Is Vernon a crypto, bro? <laughs> <laughs> kind of 
kind of hope not. <laughs> I really like this portion of the song. It might be it's my favorite. It's one of my favorites. Oh, that little pop girl. Bernard, listen, if this is his only solo, he needs to drop more because it's a bop. No, though, it's it's a bop though. I I don't know if there's really much to know about lyrically. I think there's a lot of flexing, kind of sweet in a way because it was a lot of flexing specifically about being in seventeen. And what was the chorus again? Um, boy bands make bands, boy. So you know, being in a boy group, you know, getting that coin, especially after a while. After a few years, you know, I think you get a more steady income <laughs> and all of that. You know, 70s, uh, it's not a group to scoff at, not a small group to be a part of. But now this is, listen, <laughs> it's a bop. And it's, I said this during, what was I listening to? Was it Mama Moo's album? It might have been that, but it's summer here. So this, I'm going to be bumping all of summer. This is a bop. This is a fun little hype bop. And again, if there is more Vernon music out there that I just don't remember, or maybe I haven't listened to it, I need to find it. Because if this is any indication of what can be expected from him, I'm ready to listen to more. Like I said, I also think as an artist, I've grown to appreciate Vernon over the years. Because I think he's, I think him and Wanwu alternate. Because I think in terms of his rap style, he's my favorite rapper from the hip hop unit. But I really like Wanwu's tone. So if they could somehow merge, that would be great. But I, I think I would give it to him as my favorite ha 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 rapper from the hip hop unit. And then one would be like a very close second. Like I, I, I always enjoyed him as a rapper and now in general, he's just been coming for me. So, you know, very, very vigilant when it comes to Vernon these days. <laughs> Listening to a Christmas song in August, well, October, I am... <laughs> This is going to be an interesting series of videos to get through. Um, anyways, listening to a Christmas song in October is certainly a choice. But I don't, I don't know. I just, it, I felt bad about potentially skipping over DK. So I was like, nah, it's fine. I'm not a big Christmas person. I said this. I think I was listening to Christmas Evil by Shrek. It's funny enough. But I'm not a big Christmas person. Don't really care for Christmas. It's fine. It's kind of just another day for me, to be completely honest. But I can appreciate some Christmas songs, some Christmas bops. I think Christmas Evil is kind of my favorite Christmas song right now. And I also just like DK's voice, so I'm never mad at listening to music he sings. But anyway, <sighs> but am I going to be emo? Probably. Probably, because it's DK. And Christmas songs usually tend to be on the slower side. But <sighs> let's get into it. Three, two, one. Ready? have that piano going. strings in this? Okay. I'm not sure if this is an original song or a cover. Either way, we're already here, so... The boy is like honey. The man sounds like... <laughs> Maybe 
Because yeah, we'll be bumping this tune Christmas, you know what? Listen, I have very mixed feelings about DK because on the one hand, I'm so soft for him because he's so fucking cute. On the other hand, you know, he's a good looking person. Listen, I can acknowledge he's a very good looking person. And when he says stuff like, shall we dance, sir? So I have a bias. <laughs> I don't know how the DK stands are coping. Um, so sorry to y'all. Listen, we'll keep this PG-13 song proceeding. We don't need to, we don't need to go there. This, this instrumental, the piano, the strings, the bells in this, girl, girl. Whoever made this song, kudos to you. Made a ball. I felt like a lot. I feel so winded. I don't. I don't know how wise it was to to decide to make tonight a seventeen spree saga. I don't even know what I'm gonna title this. Probably spree. I did that last time when I was going through seventeen videos. Cause I'm two songs in and I'm already like physically exhausted, and I still need to listen to Woozy's solo. Two different sounds also, cause Vernon's was a little little it was a lot more hyped than dk song was and like i said i'm not a big christmas person i do appreciate christmas music that's one thing i will give christmas i've heard some you know bangers as christmas songs and this is all it's a good song i don't know calling it a banger <laughs> given how slow it is just doesn't feel correct but i did enjoy the song you know maybe i'll add it to the christmas playlist you know maybe i'll listen to it here and there outside of the focus being on christmas it is quite sweet very romantic which you know some people would argue christmas can be quite a romantic holiday for a lot of people 
very sweet <laughs> so sweet i just this man this one also i've been having issues with in more recent years what was it ready to love where he was really a problem maybe it was i think it might have been ready to love where dk really started to become more of an issue for me um more of a problem but no this was so pretty <laughs> this was i think that's the best way to describe this song and my feelings it's just so pretty he sounded pretty the instrument called the instrumental the instruments going off in the back girl wow he didn't need to go off like that and i'm yeah i don't know how wise it was to do an entire 17 you know spree in one night but we've made our choice we're in it now <laughs> Are y'all ready? Because I'm not. See, Jihoon is another member that I think I've grown to appreciate a lot in the past two years. Because I've been into Seventeen since 2018, right? But I think I kind of had a kind of a Seventeen renaissance with Left and Right. Like I, I think I was kind of more of a casual listener from 2018 to 2020. And then Left to Right, Left to Right, Left and Right dropped. And I think that's why I really, really got into Seventeen. And I think that's a big reason why they've become one of my favorite groups of all one of my favorite k-pop groups of all time right because i got so into them their music them as people it was like a lot really like fell in love with 17 and i think for a long time woozy was one of those members where i would like appreciate but i didn't go beyond that and i think in that time period where i really got to know them i've grown such a soft spot for him really this is we this is a woozy stan account i am very nervous <laughs> what this is gonna sound like from the aesthetics and pictures i've seen i'm gonna assume kind of in the i want to say the rock vein but i don't know i don't i'm interested and i'm similarly to vernon <laughs> maybe i'm completely wrong but i think this is his first solo and i think it's just this song i'm gonna double check after this actually because i'm doing a lot of 17 so even if i do miss maybe he released more music or more music alongside the song i'll still react to it because i'm doing a lot of 17 right now so i could just fit it into one of the other videos i plan to film but yeah i'm nervous i'm excited you know like i said i've grown a, a deeper appreciation for woozy i think in the past two years so rip me anyways and i think this this video has been so all over the place so like genre wise i'm very intrigued to hear what this sounds like what he leans into in his solo work so let's get into it three two one come on jihoon okay orchestra wasn't wasn't expecting that we behind the scene oh the undercut oh he looks good he looks so good this red light all right jihoon you don't need to you don't need to look like that okay orchestra let's see Rip to the woozy stands because um oh the red go oh, the red right anyways this is a very theatric theatric theatrical I can't speak today bro this look okay <laughs> cool. Hi, hi, Jihoon. Cool. I'm gonna use your government name here. Um, to look. This is so disorienting to listen to. Like the the beats and the way he's singing, kind of off them. Not exact. And this is very disorienting to listen to. So a lot going on already out the gate. And I. Maybe I was right, because I was like, oh, you know, I don't know, the aesthetics were giving kind of rock, so maybe this is going to be a, a rock song from my man G, okay. Is he singing all in English? Does G Hoon swear? What is going on? What is happening? There's so much. <laughs> G Hoon swore at me this look again women walking around him this is there's so much anyways okay focus Christy. 
I wasn't anticipating a, a, a flirty, I guess, Ji Hoon on this. Um, and a lot of English. I wasn't excited. There was, I was actually thoroughly unprepared for this. This came out months ago. And yeah, I was, I was not... Okay, you know, I'm, I'm more prepared now. I think, okay, this is just, just listen to the song, Christine. Just watch the video. We, we know what to expect now. Um, this look is still iconic. He looks great. This is still so disorienting to listen to. The drums in this though. That look, whoever styled you, I um, hope you got the bag because he was great. Let K-pop idols swear in their music 2022. I mean, he said shit earlier. I don't know why we are suddenly censoring ourselves. Go all in, my guy. Just do it. Just go all in. I, okay. The, the black and white dog. Okay. What are we building to? I'm scared. No, I'm very scared. Okay. Shit, this is rare too. What is going on in this song? What is what is happening? No, what is happening? What is happening? What is happening? I am so sorry. I'm the the Oh yeah, oh yeah. Shit, this is rare too. Jihoon you could do this. Who told who told Jihoon you could do this? I just wanna talk. I just wanna know. I'm I'm just I'm just asking a question. I don't know. Is this the most Woozy's ever punched me in the face? Maybe. Maybe. I actually think it might be. Cool. I This he is looks I don't need uh, uh, He fits dude He looks phenomenal The models are beautiful too How about it go? I don't think he's had a single outfit that I don't like. You know, it's like we know he's so talented. Like we know, and I know he plays so many instruments. I think it's with the drums, many other instruments probably that I'm just that are not coming to my mind right now. But I just don't need the visual of him with the guitar. Like it's a bit much. It gets a bit much. And again, Wizzy is one of those members that I don't be looking at that way a lot of the time. And this video is making me severely reevaluate that. Severely reevaluate that. I'm struggling. <laughs> I don't even know how the Lucy stands did after this. I'm so sorry. I, this man doesn't like no. And the, the lasers, this face, Jimmy, I swear to God. I don't think I've ever wanted to fight Woozy this way. I just, like, again, I don't think he's really, like, affected me this way ever. In my, in my four years of being in 17, into 17, I don't think he's ever really, like, come for me this way. There have been moments. Like, I think of, I'm specifically thinking of the, I think it was the 007 version of, is it Rock With You? He had, like, the black suit and his hair was sick back and then I was like, okay, Jihoon, all right, okay, I see you. Um, cool. This video is a lot. It's really so much. 
I it really doesn't help that the song is a banger. Um, but it's almost over. You know what? I can make it the last like 30 seconds. It's fine. It's okay. That's how it ends. At least it's over. He whispered at the end. There was giggling at the end. What's wrong with this man? Like, I know he's a genius and he makes some phenomenal music. I wouldn't be in the 17 streets if it wasn't for him, I'm pretty sure, because of the bops he's produced and made. But, like, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of put off a little in the intro because it was so disorienting, but I really got into the song as it progressed. And I was right. I actually didn't expect to be right that it would be a rock song, but, like, I don't know how I feel about being right. Maybe I should have just been wrong. Why couldn't he give us like a ballad or a little pop song, you know? Especially coming off the DK, this was a lot. Like again, the genres have been all over the place in this video, which I kind of anticipated while doing like member music because different members, different sounds, they go for different, you know, different music, it's, it's to be expected, but my God. I don't even, again, I, I was not anticipating a flirtatious Jihoon in this one so that was very I didn't expect him to sing in English that often so that was also a lot just I'm just very overwhelmed genuinely I'm just I'm very overwhelmed and this is an overwhelmed I don't usually again isn't usually inspired by Woozy right like I, I, even though I've grown in appreciation for him he usually is kind of like a safer member from from in 17 I can't speak he's He's like one of he's kind of one of my babies, low key in seventeen. Like I'm kind of pretty soft for Ji Hoon, but this video, yeah, Ji Hoon said no. I think this is a continuing saga with with many K-pop groups because I had a similar experience with Stray Kids <laughs> during their comeback. Like one of the members I was very soft for, he said no. So I don't know if this is what I can anticipate going through Seventeen's music this year. If Ji Hoon is going to keep acting like this, like this. Girl, psychological breakdown. Anyways, so this is this has been my part one. There's gonna be, and I don't even know what I'm gonna title these videos. I'm just gonna see. I'm gonna get creative, I guess. The the first seventeen catch up, I guess. <laughs> it's already a lot, and I'll see you in the next one.